Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing another movie review, so I hope you find this one interesting. This movie is a drama slash horror film from the United States, English language, released in the year 2017, directed by Rod Blackhurst, and this film is called Here Alone. So Here Alone is set in a world that's been decimated by a devastating virus. The human population has been wiped out, but there have been a few survivors. So our main character is one of those survivors. She's just suffered something pretty horrific that has caused her to lose hope in humanity. She doesn't have a future, and she seeks refuge in this relatively uh, safe area in the remote woodlands. So she has a very repetitive lifestyle, but that repetitive lifestyle is about to be disrupted when she comes across two people. You've got a young girl and her stepfather who are in dire need of help. So she helps them and she says after that she they have to go on their way because she doesn't trust them. But after she gets to know them a bit more, she starts to develop that trust and she realizes that she needs them just as much as they need her. So the trio form together to actually try and make a better future, but there's one decision that's going to be made that is going to put that happy future in grave jeopardy. So what what that decision is, is something you're going to have to find out for yourself, because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis. Now my thoughts on Here Alone. This is a fascinating film. I wouldn't say it's a perfect film because it does have negatives, but what I liked about it the most is that, it, yes, it is another... Uh, infected slash virus outbreak film but what it is is a movie that is definitely different this is a movie that strikes you on a very realistic sense in that it's more it's more a case of how people are coping in an extreme situation as opposed to stereotypical moments that you find in a lot of these films it's not so much about the horror it's about people and these people were absolutely fascinating I thought the characters were brilliant in this movie is because the the overall decisions that these characters make help you know, contribute that snowball effect in that it actually gives them more depth and it's both very fascinating but at the same time very haunting this is an incredibly depressing film do not watch this movie if you are depressed because there's a lot of similarities to the mood of Viggo Mortensen's The Road if you thought that movie was depressing this movie hits you with a lot more depressing value because you never feel that there is going to be a happy outcome and that sense of dread is magnified by the cinematography there is just a very monotonous tone that this film has but once again it gives you that strong sense of realism if this was a world if this actually happened in reality then it wouldn't be fun it wouldn't be action-packed you know it wouldn't be all you know uh, hope and glory it would be very monotonous it would be very boring it's about self-preservation and the self-preservation from this main character is what gives it that strong sense of realism and because you actually get a lot of time with these characters you feel as though you know them and when the bad things start to happen at the end of the film the fact that the horror is used very sparingly makes the horror even more horrific because because I actually felt like I've been on a journey with these these characters, all of a sudden, I don't want to see them die. I don't want to see them become infected or lose their loved ones. I actually want to see them build a happier future. And because you don't have any annoying character traits in this film, all these characters are very, very likable. I thought the acting performances were fantastic, especially from the main character. I could really get in her in, into her dilemma. I could really get into her plight, and I really had a lot of sympathy for her because what happens in her past, which are told through very brief flashbacks, was absolutely devastating. And I thought to myself, that poor woman. No one deserves that. And even the young girl and her stepfather, they didn't deserve what's happened to them. So there's a lot of exchanges that give you an insight into who these people are. And because it's realistically done, I never felt that this was any stereotypical character traits. So I never felt like I was watching characters in a film. I thought as though I was a fly on the wall watching real people cope with the real situation. So that was very, very good. I thought the cinematography was very good. You, know, you got a very lush landscape. And what I found interesting about that was that it was basically telling us that nature is going to take over humanity when humanity dies off. So who's the stronger of the two? Is it nature or is, or is it us? And so on the human front, you got a very desolate and um, barren landscape but on a nature front you've got it's flourishing so there's two contrasting worlds there that are colliding together and once again that is depressing as well we treat nature very badly but in the end nature is going to take over so that's a scary thought in itself and I thought the overall cinematography and the way it used its coloring was both beautiful but at the same time very haunting is because you got one side the human kind that is really suffering whereas nature who we you know a lot of people treat nature very badly but that's flourishing in a very deadly situation so that was very fascinating. I don't know if it was deliberate, but that was something that really made me think. And then you've got an absolutely fantastic ending that really caps off what this film is about. Basically, what this film is about is decisions and how decisions can have a shaping effect on our on our future and how decisions can shape us as people because of what's happened in the past. And the depressing thing about this film is that some decisions you can't rewind and do it again. And you're constantly thinking, 
would this character have been in a better situation if they made this decision instead of the decision that they've made? And because you can't go back in time, because none of us have got a, a time machine, you can't change that. And so that does raise the question of decisions that decisions that are made and how devastating decisions that are done on the spare of a moment can be. And that it can not only shape your life, but the lives around you. So as far as a psychological study of tormented people is concerned, I thought this was very, very good. The acting was absolutely brilliant. The script was very realistic. Once again, there's a strong sense of realism. The film reeks of something that would actually happen. These are things that people would say to each other. It's not glorified. It's not theatrical. It actually felt like I was there alongside them in this campfire, and they're actually talking about things that you wouldn't, uh, you would talk about. And so there's no real exposition in this film as to how this virus came about, and that's something once again that is very realistic. And so. This movie does treat you with a lot of respect, but unfortunately, I do have a problem with this film, and the, the fact that this movie will only appeal to purists of psychological dramas as opposed to horror films. If you see the trailer, you're going to get a film that you're not really expecting, because I felt, yes, on one hand, the monotonous tone really works, but on the other hand, I felt as though this movie really needed a defibrillator. This movie needed to say clear and just burst some energy into the heart of this film to get it pumping, because the monotonous tone gives you that realism, but I thought it needed theatrics to really sell the film, because I thought as as though I was nodding off it from time to time. That yes, you've got very interesting characters. Yes, the exchange of dialogue is very interesting, but it goes for a bit too long in certain scenes. So I thought in between this scene and that scene, it could have used a little bit more of a theatric. It could have been used a little bit more horror because at the mo uh, uh, after a while, you start to become desensitized to the overall situation because you haven't seen the threat for quite a while. And so that was the biggest problem is that that monotonous tone does cause the defibrillator to come out and it urgently needs to resuscitate and basically get its life back because it you, f you, you start to think as though it's it's slowly dying off but uh, but fortunately it doesn't derail it but it does prevent it from being an absolutely flawless film but having said that as I said it, it's something a little bit different it's giving you a very realistic insight into a very horrific situation and how we cope with that so if this sounds like your kind of thing then definitely go out there and see it and as a result of that I'm going to give um, here alone three and a half stars all right guys that's it for my review hope you enjoyed it till next time you watching movies and I'll see you later